Hey there everybody, Teacher Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video, it's a basic uh, tutorial but um, I wanted to cover it anyways because we've been getting a lot of new users in the forums and uh, I'm sure some of the more basic uh, videos will really help them you know, get started and you know, um, spark some inspiration. Um, so right now I have this game, I'm going to preview it here and uh, I just basically I press this button and it shoots some balls. Um, after eight seconds they start to destroy themselves because I don't want a lot of balls in the scene at once but um, for the purpose of this demonstration this is a perfect setup um, so basically you know in some games you have um, you know different kind of elements well uh, one sometimes is a fan and uh, when you shoot something into the fan you know it gets blown away um, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now I have two actors I have a fan actor and a wind actor and you'll see there's nothing in either one um, they're just two actors. I didn't go and draw any pictures or anything, so we'll just pretend this is a fan. Put that down. It's on the floor. And I got my wind here. This is going to be my vapor. Um, just so, you know, for visualization, you can see what, uh, what's the fan and what's the wind. Uh, make sure you have your, your fan to not movable. Um, bring that to front. So I have my fan here, and I'm going to go ahead and press preview, and you're going to see that nothing really happens. Um, so the first thing we need to do is make sure the balls collide with the fan, because it's an object. So uh, we'll go into the ball, and I'll add a collide rule. Um, put it up here, and tell it to collide with the fan. Perfect. So I'll hit preview, and now you'll see. Hopefully one of them touches the fan. There you go. So you see that they collide with the fan, no problem. Um, just for the sake of funness, I'm going to tell my balls to collide with each other. Uh, so collide with balls, perfect. Um, so now we need to make these balls interact with the fan. So I'm going to go back in here and we're going to create a rule. I'm just going to shrink this stuff here. And again, this is a very basic tutorial. Um, I'm going to say when overlaps or collides with the wind, I want to accelerate the ball um, and we'll use the up direction because uh, I'll just type in 90 because uh, our fan is blowing up uh, in this scene here and we'll go relative to scene and now for my accelerate down I have 400 so that's that's the gravity basically so we need to make sure the fan is more than that so it will um, you know have an effect on the ball. So let's go with uh, 1400. So uh, that should give us a nice powerful fan and you can adjust that for you know how much power you want your fan. I'm gonna hit preview and now you'll see it's gonna react just as if it was wind and it only does it when it's inside the wind area. You know, and you can do the same thing. Um, move this stuff around if you wanted. You know, so we'll turn that sideways. Turn that sideways. Put that there, and then we'll just go into our ball. And um, so we want the wind to blow that way instead. So I preview. And can I get any of there? There you go. There you go. So uh, pretty simple, you know, just like as if a fan was blowing it in the wind. Um, nothing too fancy. Uh, if you want this project file, head on over to gshelper.com. Underneath the video, there's a free download link. Download the project, play around with it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.